In this series, we try and build a 500 turn collection from scratch, but with a huge twist. We could lose everything at any moment. If our pools are blessed, we move on towards our goal, but if our luck fades, it's sudden death. Everything gets put on the line in a shadow duel versus a random viewer. Will the heart of the cards be on our side, or are we doomed to the shadow realm forever? You're watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Profit or Forfeit. Yes! <laughs> Subscribe. Welcome back to the Children's Casino. A lot of people have been looking forward to this one, but honestly, I'm a little worried after reviewing the set that we're opening. Currently, we're rocking a massive luck streak and have somehow easily racked up a collection binder worth £196. Our best record right now is around the 350 mark, but at this rate, we are going to smash it with ease. As always, at any point, this could come crumbling all the way back down to zero with everything being given to you watching. That's right, Gavin, if you like the video and drop a comment below, all of this could be yours. You know, now that I think about it, that might actually be why a lot of people were looking forward to this one. Huh. I know for a fact you lot are waiting around for the forfeit like a bunch of vampires waiting to sink your fangs into the collection. So just for you, this episode is sponsored by Bloodline Heroes of Lithis. Bloodline is a hero collector fantasy RPG that's all about making babies and kicking ass. Build up your kingdom and protect it with your champions while managing your waifus and bloodlines to come up with all sorts of new monstrosities. I'm sure you've always wondered, what would happen if you mixed an elf with a dwarf, right? What about an angel and a vampire? That would get rid of the weaknesses of the vampire and the whole sun thing, right? Or would it pass down the weakness of the sun and then not be able to do any angel things? Uh, either way, luckily for you this Halloween, the accursed vampire clan joins the game, giving you access to a whole new type of assassin and all the combinations that come with it. This Halloween event starts on October 27th and you'll be able to grab the new accursed champion for free on the seventh day of the event. So download the game now and get experimenting by clicking the link in the description or scanning the QR code on screen which will get you a juicy $20 starter pack for free including 10 energy potions, 100k gold and 100 diamonds. What if you mixed a god with a man? Is that just Hercules? Thanks again to Bloodline Heroes of Lithis for sponsoring this episode. Now let's go spend some dosh. Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talk! So the set we're opening today is the most recent Darkwing Blast. Leading up to the release, there was so much hype surrounding the set with its OCG success and the potential for it to be Power of the Elements 2.0. But now that it's here, I really don't see what the huge fuss was all about. At the same time though, supply is apparently quite scarce and I believe there was like a retail price increase or something, I don't really know the details. All I know is Super Rare Bicycle Magnamoot is worth BANK. Starlights aside, looking at the breadwinners, we have in first place Kashtira Fenrir, an ultra rare at 59.99. I sold mine at like 41 pounds, so fuck me, I guess, right? <laughs> Next up, we have the Buy Steel Lubellion Secret Rare at 54.95, and then in third place, we drop all the way down in 1999, and that is Blazing Cartesia, which I believe is then followed by the Super Rare Buy Steel Magnamoot. So having like a 15 pound super makes every pack exciting, so I'm interested to see where this goes. Dark Wing Blast, are we gonna profit or are we gonna forfeit? Let's find out. All right, Dark Wing Blast. Here we go. Honestly, not really feeling that confident about this one. Uh, I know this set's meant to be like Power of the Elements 2.0, but honestly, there is a lot kind of missing in terms of value. Uh, I mean, I don't know all the values off by heart, but I'm pretty sure Lubalian's the only money secret rare. And then, of course, Fenrir is a very expensive ultra. And we also have Bysteel Magnamoot as a super rare. So Magnamoot's like the real saving grace here in terms of whether we actually profit or not. Uh, we're gonna have to get real lucky and not pull a whole bunch of duds. So 12 packs, 30 pound. Can we do it? Let's find out. Let's dive in. Uh, Starlight is always a possibility, but you know, it's just never gonna happen because I just can't pull high rarity cards for the life of me anymore. Uh, you'll focus? Hello? Alright, there we go. That should work. So, we have, in our first pack here, Amazon S, Pet Liger King. I mean, if we pull Fenrir, then it's just an automatic profit there and then, as well as Lubellion. If we pull anything else, then it might be tough. So we have, uh, yo, we got both Amazon S fusions in a row. That's kind of cool. Uh, Scareclaw Decline. 
your prediction princess, a Biblio Muse, and oh wait, secret rare, secret rare. Fuck, I can't remember where T. No, oh! <laughs> no way, no way. Yo, I didn't know it had the at the start of it. What the hell? The buy steel Lubalian. Oh, what a fucking holy shit. Okay, I am very happy now. <laughs> it's just that easy. It's just that easy, baby. The buy steel Lubalian profit in the first pack. Okay, well, obviously, there's not going to be any suspense for the rest of the episode, but let's see how high we can go. Can we work towards that new personal best? I forget what our current value is, but we're not too far off the uh, the new record. Man, what a fucking streak we are on here. Holy shit. We actually pulled the Lebellion in pack number one. <laughs> uh, Psychic Rover, we got Golden Whipmaster, Underworld, and Tri Brigade Showdown. Let's fucking go, baby. This could be yours. All you gotta do is like and subscribe and comment and all that shit. Let's go. Uh, alongside the rest of the entire binder. All right. Pack number two, man. <laughs> We've peaked. We peaked in the first fucking pack. Uh, all right, we got another Augusta. We have Silver Swordmaster. We got Silent Wolf Kalupo. This stupid uh, B. Fuck. What's that? What's that show called? Uh, B Stars. There you go. Tilton Entertainment. We got the Trains. Terrors in the Hidden City. Super rare. Okay, very cool. We got Tournament Scream. Tri Brigade Showdown. Actually, quite a few good commons in this set. To be fair, as an example. We also have Amazonas, Silver Sword Master once again. Han, Shi, Kudo Spirit. We got Tabari, the Sky Ninja. A lot of, uh, man, all these ninja cards look really, like, odd. Ninjutsu Art of Dancing Leaves. And we have Branded Regained, super rare. Continuing the lore. Very nice. Very nice. You know, I forget the Biosteels are actually Albaz related, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got Lubellion in the name. What am I, stupid? <laughs> Psychic Rover. We got the Great Noodles, Heartbeat, and Exceep Omen. Let's go. Okay, pack number three. No, this is pack number four. Jesus, we're hammering through this. All right. We have Tier Limits Grief, Yori Shiro of the Aqua Decisive Battle of Golgonda. Let's go. We have Tilting Trains once again, and Dynamite. Power Load, the Draco Slayer. Very cool, another super rare. All right, Naturia Blessing. Is Lubellion all we're gonna get? Like, literally, just Lubellion? I mean, that'll do it. That will do it. Can we pull a Magnemoot? If we're pulling super rares, can we at least pull a Magnemoot, please? We have Amazonas Silver Sword. We have, we've had this in every pack. Bro, what the heck? Amazonas War Chief. Look at that War Rock support. Vernasylph in full bloom. I see a Link Monster. I can't remember any hollow Link Monsters in the set. Tier Limits Grief. Ah, okay, that's why. <laughs> Donner, Dagger for Hire. So, funnily enough, in the, um, this is such a stupid story. In the Darkwing Blast Konami opening, I was like, Donner, Dagger for Hire, Donner Kebab. You know, just speaking shit as you do. And uh, I got told to take that out, which was very sad. But, yeah, there you go. We got the Titty McGee. Actually got censored a little bit. That cleavage got downgraded from double Ds to, I guess, like, Cs. I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. Golden Whip Master! More Amazonas and Blackwing cards. Yay. All right. One more. And that'll be us halfway through this Darkwing Blast opening. Uh, Power of the Elements was a bombshell for us. Darkwing Blast also just apparently being a bombshell with that Lubellion pool. You know, Scareclaw Decline. Vernasylph in full bloom. Yorushiro of the Aqua Stars. A line across the Milky Way and a hollow is... Brother in Christ, what's going on? <laughs> Tier Limits Rule Kalos! Let's go! That's like, what, a £20 secret? £25 maybe? I can't remember off the top of my head. Fuck yes, brother! <laughs> oh, we're gonna set a new fucking record here. If we pull a Fenrir, then holy shit, this is gonna be like the most insane 12-packs ever. Secret Arts, Exceed, we got Turbo and Cucumber Horse. Fucking hate this card. Did you know a cucumber is a fruit and a vegetable? Vegetable is a social construct. Got it. <laughs> Oh, uh, what am I talking about? Vegetables, apparent. I, I read this the other day. Vegetables are apparently a social construct. There's no actual scientific definition. Yeah, I, honestly, I'm just going to shut up. I read it somewhere. Cucumber is a fruit and a vegetable. Tomatoes are the only ones that get spoke of in that context. I don't know. <laughs> Stars align across the Milky Way. Devari the Sky Ninja, Hanshi, Keto Spirit, Blackwing, Zonda the Dusk, and we got Boria Storm, the Wicked Wind. Super rare. That's the level six. Yeah, quite a good card, actually. Uh, Infernal Queen, Heartbeat, Ninjutsu, and Bamboo Sword. Very, very cool. Five packs remain. 
I apologize for the absolute shit that is coming out of my mouth this episode. Sometimes, you know, it just happens. Your brain just goes on a wild tangent. Amazon as spiritualist, and the words don't really come out the way you want them to, so it makes absolutely no fucking sense. Two elements grief. We have laughing puffin here doing the Olympics juggling. <laughs> you see what I mean? Amazon as war chief. Oh, no. We've got two dynamite power load the Draco Slayer. How unfortunate. Uh, Tribrigate Showdown, Turia Blessing, Twin Saw, and Invocation. Four packs left. Can we pull a, a fan rare? We haven't even pulled an ultra rare yet. Are we even going to pull an ultra rare? At Ninjutsu Art of Dancing Leaves, we have Amazonas Pet Liger King, Amazonas Spiritualist, Stars Align, and we have another super. <gasps> ah, I see it was a Bi Steel Monster. Not quite the Magnamut, unfortunately. A Saraneer. I, I don't know if the other uh, Bi Steel Supers are worth anything. All I know is that Magnamut is ridiculously priced. Tribe Grade Showdown, we've got Scream. Gold Whip and Shadow Squall. All right, final three packs. This is a guaranteed profit, but how high can we knock that value? We have War Rocks, Freki, Freaky, the Runic Fangs, Sif, without his sword, Sag, Kagero, the Cannon Ninja. We have Ninjutsu Art of Dancing Leaves and Goatee Fury. We're just actually not going to pull a single Ultra. Goatee Cosmos, Psychic, Invocation, and Pendulum. All right, second. Last pack of Dark Wing Blasts. What are we gonna get? Kashtira Ogre. Oh, we could actually pull a Kashtira Unicorn as well as the Fenrir. Unicorn's also like a tenor, I think. Uh, Vernisulf in full bloom. We have Silent Wolf Kalupo. Decisive Battle of Golgonda it is an effect monster. Ah, Black Wing Vata, the Emblem of Wandering. Not a single Ultra Rare. What's going on? Twin Shadow, Shadow Squall, Catalyzer, Curse of Armateer. I mean, to be fair, we did pull two fucking secrets, which is insane. All right, final pack of Darkwing Blast. Let's go for it to the front here. A little bit of suspense, see if we can pull that Fenrir at the end here, or a Magnamut. Curse of Aramateer, we have Infernal Queen Salmon, Naturia Blessing, Scareclaw Twinsaw, Silent Wolf, we got the B-Stars, Decisive Battle of Golgonda, Amazonas Augusta, Naturia Camellia, and it is a trap card. Oh, it could be the new Daruma, no, oh, Branded Beast, wow. Two secret rares and 10 super rares. Not a single ultra out of 12 packs. You know, that's crazy. All right, well, I know for a fact this is a profit. Like, fucking look at that. It's near enough the two best secrets in the set. Let's go. Don't know exactly what the value is, but it is on screen now. Damn, only three pools that are actually worth anything, yet that's still enough to push us past £250 and the halfway mark, just like that. At this rate, if you're a new subscriber, you probably don't even know what a Shadow Duel is. So just as a refresher, here's all the challenges we've done so far. The very first episode we forfeited and did Starter Deck Yugi vs Kaiba. Episode 7, we did every card in the main, extra and side deck had to be the same. That was the only duel we've done as best of three, I believe. Then in episode 8, we went the opposite direction and did the Highlander challenge where every card in the deck has to be different. Episode 11, we did burn damage only, whether it be spell, trap or monster effect. In episode 14, we lost on that mission mystery box and played a spells only duel where our opponent played called by the grave for some reason and then finally in episode 17 we played using only cards that are at least somewhere on the ban list that was a really cool duel actually but yeah these have all been really fun do let me know what other challenges you want to see next and maybe just maybe magnificent mavens will be our downfall thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time